Hi there, friends. Welcome back to another episode from Solid Gold Scripture Journals. I'm Marcy, and today is the content you didn't sign up for when you signed up for the Scripture Journaling channel. I love YouTube. One of my favorite things on YouTube is BookTube, where we all uh, read our books, and then we watch people give like reviews about their books, and then it's just fun. It's just fun to share that. And so today I'm going to share the books that I read in August and I've never done this before. I don't have any notes. I'm pretty nervous. Okay, let's give it a try. So the first book I read in August was called I Survived the Children's Blizzard 1888 by Lauren Tarshish. It's a children's book. Uh, I would say for grade like, I don't know, four to six. And it was quite enjoyable. I love Lauren Tarshish. She was finding for her own family, she had sons that were sort of that grade four to six age, and there weren't enough books for them that were about boys, that boys were the main character, sort of um, historical fiction, adventure type books. So she started writing her own books and she has a lot of really great things. There's books about the grizzly bear attacks in Montana in the 60s. And she has books about the Titanic and World War II. And my son is in grade five and he really loves these books. So I wanted to read this book because I thought it could give me just a little bit of um, information about what it was like to be a pioneer and to live on the plains and how harsh it was and the things that could happen in 1888 and this book was great. Another thing I really love about Lauren Tarshish is she has a website and you go on her website and you can leave her ideas for subjects that she might want to research later. And my son wanted to send her an idea and so it goes through the parent, you send it and she got right back to us and wrote an email to my son. It was all very exciting. So highly recommend any of her books for grades four to six, maybe a little older, maybe a little younger. I mean, I loved it myself. Okay. Book number two I read. It's over here on my night table because not only did I read it, it matches my um, aesthetic, if you will. So a few years ago, I read Jordan Peterson, 12 Rules for Life. Absolutely fantastic book. Uh, almost life-changing, I would say. I read this book and I learned so much about the book of Genesis. I really, really loved the biblical uh, work that he does. And then also he's talking about 12 rules for life, an antidote to chaos, how your world can't be too chaotic. If it's too chaotic, it's out of control. It's no good. And then his next book is called Beyond Order, 12 More Rules for Life. This one just came out in March. And he talks about how beyond order, things can't be too orderly or they're out of control. So what you want is you want a little bit of chaos in your life, <laughs> a little bit of chaos in your life, a little bit of order in your life, and you're kind of walking that fine line between chaos and order. I mean, so good. So many great things. One idea that he has that has really been transforming to me is one of the rules is tell the truth. In here, he says, tell the truth. Am I right set up this time? Nope. Tell the truth. And in here, he talks about it again. And he says, He talks about it again, but a little differently. For example, he says, do not do what you hate. What I took from this is if you are asked to do something, someone asks you, would you please babysit my kids all day tomorrow? And you don't have time for it. You're not feeling it. It's not good. It's not going to work for you. Then you need to say, I am sorry. I cannot do that for you that is their issue to work out and not your issue to fix. And then you don't feel resentful. You don't feel anxious watching these kids all day that you really don't have time for. You just, you're not being rude. You're not being mean. You're just telling the truth about what you can and cannot do. And that works in all areas of your life. I just found that really life-changing. 
Now, of course, I'm not him and I'm not saying it as wonderfully and beautifully and eloquently as how he explains it, but I just found these books to be really great. Highly recommend them, especially the first one. Okay. Last book I read is called Why We Sleep, Unlocking the, what's a minute? Power of Sleep and Dreams by Matthew Walker, PhD. He makes a little joke at the beginning of this book. I know, and I appreciate, I appreciate a little humor. And he says, if you're reading this book and it's boring and you fall asleep, well, I've, I'm not offended. I've done my job. I've done my job if you fall asleep while reading this book. And all I have to say is mission accomplished. It was a little bit boring. And I listened to it on like double speed while I was walking and had nothing else to do uh, for a few days there. And I did finish it, but it wasn't my favorite. There were a few things I learned about how important sleep is. It's so important for our mental health. It's important for learning. It's important for children. Like, yeah, you're right. Sleep is really important. And it kind of gave me a little bit of a, a guilt attack because I'm not sure I made my kids sleep enough when they were young and things. But yeah, sleep's really important. And then I got so anxious about sleeping that I didn't sleep and I got a little bit of a cold. So it the sleep book put me to sleep and made me anxious all at the same time. So, you know, you might want to read it, you might not. So, okay. Thank you for uh, coming to my um, book review. I think I'm going to do this every month. So, so let me know what was your favorite books that you've read in August. Let me know in the um, comments below. Subscribe to my channel so you can watch some videos that you didn't even know were going to be on a channel about scripture journaling. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.